I've just had a thought. Modulation. Yes. The Behringer JT4000 Micro is a great little synth, but it has one major problem, and that is that anything MIDI has to go over this USB port. There's no conventional MIDI plugs on it. Until now, if you build yourself a little circuit for about $5. So, what have we got going on here? Well, it's not as scary as the lead seems to suggest and all this tangle of wires because it's just normal connections to USB. And I'm using that four port hub over there to connect things. Really what we've got going on is this uh, Raspberry Pi Pico which is translating the USB messages to that synthesizer from this one which is just my mini piano that I modified a few months ago. A quick look on somewhere like Amazon shows that these are about $3.70 you just need a few more components for a price of about five dollars total. Now from the Raspberry Pi Pico is a modified lead which is this black and then black and white one and that is a USB micro which connects into the Raspberry Pi Pico to the USB-C that goes into the JT4000 micro and just connected the four wires that are inside. You've got your red and your black and your two data ones. You match those two up, solder them all together, put a bit of terrible looking black tape around like I've done there, and you end up with a modified lead. The software comes from this GitHub site, which I'll link to in the description below. And within it, he describes how to connect things up, but he uses an Adafruit Featherwing board. He uses a couple of Picos, and in fact you only need one, you just need to upload the firmware to it and the job's done. Uh, though those are the connections that he's used but really you use any kind of MIDI circuit and then connect to pin 7 of the Pico. Here is the circuit that I used. Very simple, a standard one. 6N138 is the optocoupler and then you can see the connections are just a couple of resistors, diode and the MIDI jack itself. That pin 7 connection corresponds to the UART1 RX on the Pico. So this little mini piano here sends out the MIDI notes into the Pi Pico and then out to the JT4000. You can have MIDI in as well but I just chose to put the MIDI out. I only wanted to trigger the sounds that are on the JT4000. The project itself though does support both MIDI in and MIDI out. As you can see, it works fine. Oh, just a thought actually. Octaves. Ah. Yeah, so octave shifting. Yep, that's fine too. Big another tone. I've just had a thought. Modulation. Yes. So it looks like it looks like all the uh, usual MIDI features are implemented with the code. I've set it now onto the arpeggiator. Let's check that works from the keyboard. Yeah. Fly likes it too. So there we are, a very simple solution for very little money indeed that fixes the biggest problem that these JT4000s have had out of the box and that is support for regular serial MIDI. Alright, thanks very much for watching.